Why are people doing this? Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show sure is Tuesday. I tried to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. So I don't know if you've been on the internet at all this year, but there's been um, a trend going on that I'm very late to, by the way, P.S. I'm sure many people have done this already, but there's a Tide Pod challenge that's really popular amongst the youth these days. They, um, how do I say this? They eat them. They, they're eating laundry detergent. They're eating it. They're eating all the laundry detergent pods. It's happening a lot. Tide has tried very hard to try to get kids to stop eating laundry detergent by having Rob Gronkowski do promotional videos. What the heck is going on, people? Use Tide Pods for washing. And they keep eating the detergent. They just keep eating the laundry detergent. So they asked the kids, hey, why are you eating this laundry detergent? And some of them said that they knew that it was dangerous, but it just looks so delicious. You know what else looks delicious? Food. So we're gonna make some of that. And um, you know, hopefully people make it and eat that instead of laundry detergent. That would be good. I'm just trying to help. Just a girl out here trying to help. We're gonna make some Tide Pod cupcakes. Not made with actual Tide Pods, disclaimer. You can eat this and not die. Let's make this dish. Step one, apron up. Thank you to everybody who bought an apron last month. I like you. If you didn't buy one, then you missed out, but we might do another campaign soon, so stay tuned. Wow, this just makes it look like I'm real naked underneath. I'm not. Step two, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're using a recipe from Minimalist Baker just to make the like basic foundation of these cupcakes. I always like her recipes and uh, this one seemed really simple, so that's what we're doing it. Next, we're gonna take a cup of milk. Mine is almond milk. Use whatever milk you suits you. Unless it's made out of laundry detergent. Then don't use that milk because it's not milk. To our milk, we're gonna add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Why are people doing this? And we're just gonna let that curdle until it becomes kind of like a buttermilk. Next, we're gonna take a stick of softened butter. This this butter is not very softened. So we're gonna put it into a bowl and put it in the microwave for a little bit. Okay. Once your butter is like half melted and half hard, put it in the bowl. Half hard, just like I like them. <laughs> I don't. And we're gonna cream this with our mixer using this attachment, maybe? Get confidence. Oh, you gotta plug it in. Then we're gonna add a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Beat it for two minutes. Next, we're gonna add the following ingredients to a sifter in this order. Very specific. I don't want you to give up and start eating Tide Pods, so listen up. One cup of flour. Sifter. Half teaspoon baking soda. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. Four teaspoons salt. Now we're gonna take our curdled milk mixture and we're gonna alternate it with the sifter over this butter. I honestly don't know if I'm doing this right. Sift, almond milk, sift, almond milk. Yeah! I don't know, but it's not a Tide Pod so I'm already winning. We're gonna blend this until well incorporated and no lumps remain. Except for lovely lady lumps, those are okay. I hope you come for the food and stay for the dad jokes. I really do. Ooh, look it, I got a new spatula. Do you like me? Okay, don't do it this way. That's enough. Okay, um, I fucked up. After, at the end of the sifting ingredients, we were supposed to add another half cup of flour. It didn't do that. Doing it now. Hopefully it's still okay. Great, that's much more the consistency of batter. You saw nothing. Now I'm gonna fill my little cupcake tin with the little cupcake cups and have a little bit of a party. Just a little bit of a party. Nothing big, you know. It's like a, a brunch. I'm gonna fill these like three quarters of the way full. Not a big party, see what I'm saying? It's like a three quarter party. Speaking of quarters, we're gonna need at least three quarters for this laundry part, this laundry food. Yep, so jealous of anyone who has their own washing machine and doesn't have to use quarters. Remember when we were kids and our parents would get mad at us for eating raw cookie dough and batter. I'm gonna go ahead and say that they didn't know how good they had it. You're welcome, mom and dad. Pretty well behaved, if you ask me. We're gonna wash these on hot, normal cycle, 20 to 25 minutes. Do it. So Tide said that they're gonna discontinue their Tide Pods because they just can't get the kids to stop eating them. But you know what else looks exactly like a Tide Pod? My dishwashing pods. Let's just ban everything that's really convenient for responsible adults but might kill some idiotic teenagers. Here's a list of other things that we can discontinue. Chef knives. Yeah, they cut onions really well and they make our food good, but they might, you know, a teenager would choke on that and cut their esophagus. Fire for, you know, all the things that fire does. Those little silica gel packs that come in your purses, like when you buy a brand new purse or, or some shoes, those do a really good job at keeping shoes fresh when you're like ordering online or, or buying something new in a package so it doesn't mold on the shelf, but teenagers might eat them, so we should discontinue those. Reading glasses. If there's a reading glass eating challenge, they could choke on the glass and die, so we should ban 
can those. Toasters, not so much that I'm worried about them eating toasters, but you know, they might go take a shower with them or something. They'll know that that could kill them, but you know, we should discontinue toasters. Or we could just stop catering to assholes. What do I know? I'm just here to help. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, we've cleaned our mixing bowl and we're gonna make the frosting now. We're gonna use one stick of butter, again. Not the healthiest recipe, but it's also not laundry detergent, so we, we're winning, still. And we're just gonna cream this till it's cream, creamy. Do it. Oh, maybe this wasn't softened enough. Oops. I thought it had been sitting on the counter long enough, but my bad. Now we're gonna add a fourth teaspoon of vanilla and mix again. Yay. It's a light party. Do it. Now we're gonna add up to two and a half to three cups of powdered sugar, but we're gonna do it a half cup at a time, beating in between each half cup. If you can open it, you know? If you can open it. Step 50, open this. Yay. Oh, cupcakes. You're a cupcake. Let's just see if they're ready. Toothpick test. I think a little bit more time. Where was I? Half cup of powdered sugar at a time, do it. We want the frosting to be pretty thick so that it can stand on its own once it's on the cupcakes. But if you need to thin it out a little bit, use some almond milk or whatever you used for the milk. I hope this is the right attachment. I also have a whisk attachment. Can somebody tell me if I'm using the right attachment to make frosting? No one gives you a manual to life. Although, putting two and two together, you shouldn't eat laundry detergent. So winning. Another half cup powdered sugar. Okay, you get the picture. Do it until it's done. Okay, I think our cupcakes are done now. I left them in a total of 25 minutes. Yeah, they're definitely done. Oh, some of them, I think, found out they were gonna be emulating Tide Pods and decided they didn't want to go through with being cupcakes. Yeah, those are there. That's literally never happened to me, but it probably had something to do with the way that I added flour really late. So I'm gonna let these cool down over here for like at least 10 minutes. More if you like don't want your frosting to be all melty, but we don't care. 10 minutes. Okay, I don't know if these are cooled down all the way yet, but I'm not patient. So we're gonna do this. Oh, what happened to you? Okay, I put our frosting into a pastry bag with a, an attachment on the end because what the first thing we're gonna do is stick our attachment into the center of the cupcake. I hope this works. And we're gonna fill it with a little bit of frosting because one of the things the kids like about the Tide Pods is that it's really uh, soft and nice in the center. Can't get that with a food, can ya? Well, now you can. Eat food instead. Hey, 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 eat food instead. Sorry. I Googled how to do this. I hope it's right. You know, you just put the tip in, just the tip, not the whole thing, just the tip. And you kind of give it a squeeze there, fill it with cream. This is not sexual. Stop. After we fill the center of our cupcakes, we're going to just chop the cupcakes with the frosting just to cover that. This part you don't really need an attachment for, you just want it to be kind of smooth. Like a smooth color, like a white color, like, like a laundry detergent white. Okay, next we're gonna do some orange and blue gel icing if you can. I don't know if this orange one is gel, but it's the closest I can find. And we're just gonna make a design similar to one of a Tide Pod. Don't know if you were able to guess that, but that's what we're doing. Come on, why is everything so hard to open? Your husband leaves for one weekend and now now you can't open anything. Great, okay, cool. Did it, strong, independent woman right here. Okay, and they're kinda like, let me look at a picture. Hold on one second, let me get my art correct. That's what we go for, right? Okay, they're like, almost like a yin yang of blue and orange. Kinda like that, yeah, yeah. All right, if that doesn't look like a Tide Pod, then I fold. <laughs> Get it, cause laundry. Just do that with all your cupcakes now. And there we go, look at those. These turned out surprisingly really good. We have some Tide Pod cupcakes. You know, I'm really glad we were able to capitalize on this trend while it was still happening because the thing about trends is the tide's always changing. I'm gonna go take these to friends now. Let's go. Okay, you ready to do the Tide Pod challenge? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm very excited to partake in this Tide Pod challenge with you all. <laughs> What'd you make them with? Tide um, pods. Tide Pods, yeah. <laughs> ready? She's just like the kids. This looks delicious. Like now I know why people are eating them. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I feel like it's tasty. Mm. How's that Tide Pod? <laughs> Is it tasty? It's really good. Is it tasty? <laughs> It's tasty! Oh, there's something in the middle? Yeah, it's filled with cream. That's how the Tide Pods are. It tastes like a cookie. Yeah. yeah. Instead of a cupcake, it tastes like a cookie. Cookie cupcake. What? It's yummy. <laughs> it's really Sorry. good. Yeah. Yay! Cookie cupcake. Hell yeah. Would you say that it um, tastes better than a detergent pod? 
I would say this tastes 1,000% better than a detergent. Please don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we should um, we should maybe eat these instead of detergent yeah. pods. Let's start a new maybe? a new Tide Pod challenge. New Tide Pod challenge. Tide Pod Cupcake Challenge. Tide Pod Cupcake with the colors. It yes. Delicious. Good job, Mama. Thank like you. It. It's tasty, so make it instead of eating Tide Pods. How about maybe we could do that as a society? And um, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye.